morning everyone. So today's an exciting day. I've got 48 hours to basically get my trailer ready for an event. And I got a bunch of things here I want to get done before the event. I've got some lock hinges for my bed. I want to fix the legs. I got a uh, cool universal mount for an iPad or uh, a screen. I've got some marker lights and harness for my fenders, paint, I'm gonna refinish those. And the biggest thing on the list today is this awning. I got a 270 degree awning, Overland Vehicle Systems. I'm really excited to put this in. Uh, this wasn't cheap, but uh, what a unit. I've been wanting an awning for a really long time, as some of you may know, and uh, I'm really excited to put this in. It's a freestanding unit. I got this through Off-Road Rehab, really cool guy. Uh, be sure to check out their stuff as well. They'll also be at the event. Hosted by Overland North, it's the Gathering in Albine Hills. Uh, let's get to it. All right, I've been to the store four separate times now. I think I have everything I need to mount this roof rack. Uh, I went out and grabbed some M8 metric bolts, stainless, with some nuts, washers. Uh, and I also grabbed some U-bolt plates. And I'm gonna see if I can utilize this to get um, two bolts mounted, or four bolts mounted instead of just two. Um, and I'll explain how I'm gonna mount it to my roof rack here. Okay, so essentially this awning has an extruded aluminum plate and you can see there's two channels here, top and bottom. And then these bolts, obviously they have a head to it. The bolt head just fits into the slot and slides down the channel. And then that allows you complete freedom on you know, where to place it, where to mount it. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have two bolts, one on top, one on bottom, and then I'm gonna drill holes through my roof rack here, top and bottom. That'll allow me to mount my roof rack front and back onto the roof rack. With the U-bolt plate, I'm thinking the top connection can actually have two bolts, and then down below, I'll just have one screw going through. Um, now that I'm saying that, it might be a little tricky. Obviously, it's a little tricky because there's this angled member here, so I'm gonna have to navigate that. The awning might get installed a little bit taller. We'll figure that out when we get to it. Um, I'm gonna take some measurements here and uh, make a game plan. Okay, so I think I have a plan here. The roof rack, the tube, is gonna come through here. I have a nut coming through and securing that into place. And that'll be happening in the front and in the back. Okay, so we ran into a bit of a problem. Nothing we can't solve. The solution is I gotta move this roof rack, the front roof rack back a bit. Um, the spacing of this is roughly seven feet. And yeah, I can make it work with the awning. Um, but the roof rack itself, the members would fall kind of here at the end, on each end of this mounting bracket, and these screws here would get in the way, and I wouldn't be able to cap the awning, right? The back, that's the front. I'm gonna move the front roof rack in to six feet or so, and uh, that's about right here. So I just gotta move that back. Um, and hopefully that should work. You know, it just means that I have to make some more holes in my trailer, which kind of sucks. But uh, I think I can just seal it up and should be watertight and stuff. So yeah, I want to get this awning on.
trailer manufacturers, I tell you. Look, this was the set of self tappers on the driver's side, and this was the self tappers on the passenger side. Why would you change it up? Why would you use these small little dinky ones? It makes no sense. Okay, so. Uh, now I have some holes that I'm gonna have to patch up and then I'll have to clean this caulking off and whatnot. Uh, but roughly, that is where the roof rack is gonna sit. Um, it's not an exact science yet, I just gotta make sure everything clears. But uh, that should be able to support the awning now. Good, and uh, I don't mind the, the asymmetry of it. Still gives me plenty of room to put a canoe and stuff up there, so yeah. Now, of course, before I install the roof rack back on the trailer, I have to go out and get some caulking or something, some kind of sealant, uh, and uh, I need to patch the holes there. So uh, I wanna make sure this is waterproof. Now, I'm also a little worried that um, I might hit a wire or something. Uh, I hope I don't, um, but I do remember, you know, early on when I took the trailer apart, the wiring kind of ran up high in the top stud. Uh, I'm really hoping that I don't hit a wire, but it's possible. So uh, we'll cross that bridge if, uh, if or when it happens. So, all right. So I got some beetle tape on here. I'm gonna fasten this back to the roof where I need it. And uh, then I'll have some uh, sealant that I'll kind of do a perimeter around it. So, it's back on. is now on to back. Uh, I'm just gonna add some sealant around the perimeter here, go around. All I have left is black sealant, so it is gonna stick out a bit, but uh, I do plan eventually to paint the trim and stuff black. But uh, yeah, so that's on there now. Always nerve wracking making holes in your trailer and stuff. What I did with the old holes to seal them up is I put some caulking in it and then uh, a screw basically back into place. So it kind of just looks like part of the trim how the trailer is manufactured. And uh, yeah, so I finish this up and then we can get back to mounting the awning onto the trailer. Hey, do you see what I kind of have going on here? So I'm going to try to lift it over and slip it through these things. Okay. I'm going to go on this side. Okay. Help me with that corner. Yep. Okay. Okay. You got yours in? Yep. Okay. I don't know if my second one's in or not. Check. It looks like it. It is? Yep. Oh. For that was sure. easy. Nice.
I'm gonna tie an actual guideline once I, you know, find some cord and stuff, but little eyelets. And I'll put one in the front as well. And then uh, that's pretty much the awning installed. I've got to, I've got to move it slightly forward. You can see there's about like a, I don't know, three inch gap, gap over the, uh, the door here. And I do want to move it forward so that I get some coverage. So that'll be my little edit that I have to do, but uh, I don't need to show you that. But yeah, this awning is awesome. I think it effectively triples the square footage, usable square footage of this camper. And uh, yeah, it'll uh, definitely uh, be put to use. All right. Echo. Hi. Awning's installed, now time for the big reveal. I think it looks pretty good. I apologize for the uh, chainsaw and stuff in the background. The neighbors are cutting trees or something. I must say this is pretty nifty having covered canopy over the entrance of the trailer and you got all this chill zone just to kind of hang out. And eventually I'm gonna do some bug mesh. Uh, they got a zipper up here that I could possibly try to sew something in. Yeah, this is exciting. All right, so that's the awning installed. It's looking great. I uh, did up some fancy knots and some carabiners. Make it nice and taut. Looking good. Approved. <laughs> 